Hello everyone, it is Nancy Taylor here and we are doing a 25 minute interval workout and I have Shannon and Amy here to join us for the workout. So we are excited. Let's get started. Five minute warm up, 15 minutes of work and a five minute cool down. Start with just knee tugs here, left knee tug tug and release. Tug tug, release. Airplanes are overhead. So if they're loud, it's all good. Tug tug. knees behind your toes check make sure are they good you want your glutes parallel to the floor down and up warming up that lower half now it's kind of chilly here in Mission Bay so we got to get warm sit back and up sit back sit up hey guys I forgot to start the time <laughs> sorry <laughs> keep going <laughs> take your left leg back lunge here we'll guess how long that warm-up was hold it on this side Lunge and come back up. Lunge and come back up. I'm sorry, I'm scooting back by it. <laughs> and up, down, and up, down, and up, down. Give me three more. Two more. Last one. Step together and other leg comes back. Step back, lunge down, and up. Blade arms. Good. Down and up. Four more. Last three. Last two. Last one. March in place or jog. If you are marching, go for it. If not, jog here. Press and pull. Press and pull. I want to make sure I can see you guys. Let's take one step back. Okay. There we go. We're going to go side to side. There we go. Good. We don't want anyone to be cut out of the screen. Up and down. Make sure your heels are kicking back. So you're getting those glutes warmed up. Press and pull. Pick up the pace a little. Press up, down, up, down. Hands are wide so your back is getting warm. You're ready to crank it. Good. How are you guys feeling? Good. Good. Warm yet? Yep. <laughs> you warm up fast here. That's right. Modified jack in three, two, one. Feet together, arms wide together, wide together. If you're going full out, join me in three, two, and one. Basic jack. Out and in, out and in. Who likes having a posse to do your workout? Uh, yeah, me. Do you guys? Yeah. Makes a difference. No sliding on this sand. Be careful. <laughs> a little slippery. Out and in. Three, two, one. Pause it there. Warm ups up. Left leg down. Turn that left leg. Crown your head towards the toes of your feet. Left arm comes down. Right arm towards the sky. Ah, <sighs> feel nice. Just saying good morning. See if you can twist that triangle. Right arm now comes down to the floor. Left arm up towards the sky. Little yoga pose. I know Amy likes yoga. Do you like yoga? Yeah. Yoga for us. Go ahead and come back up. High T, left foot comes forward, right foot to the side. Let your right arm slide down. Open up that chest. 
Go ahead and switch. Left arm down, right arm up. Go ahead and come back up to a T. Shake it out, shake out your arms, shake out your legs. If you have water, grab it now. Do you guys need water? Yep. <laughs> grab it, bring it close. You can grab yours too. We have about 30 seconds. You guys feel okay on position? Sure, yeah. Good. Okay. Still have 20 seconds. Shake it out. The routine today is four moves in each block, 30 seconds of each before you get a rest. So our first block is plyometrics and endurance. That means jumping and for a long amount of time. <laughs> so if you are not jumping, you can stick with the modifications. Move number one, step, shot. Step, legs together, shot. We're starting in three, two, one, let's go. Step, shot, step, shot, step, shot, good. Modification not to jump, you go to your toes, you sit back. Toes, sit back. You're 20 seconds down, 10 more to go. You will see this move only one more time. One more. Keep sticking with Shannon and Amy. Watch where I'm going. Forward, left, back, and to the side. Let's go in three, two, one. Box. Now I added a hop here. You're creating a square or cube with your feet, like a frog. Back, right, forward, left, back. Good. Getting that heart rate up. You have five seconds. Stick with Shan and Amy. Watch me. Step behind, step behind. Join me in three, two, one. To the left. Step behind, step behind behind. We're losing Amy on the side of the screen. Ooh, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah. Come give us a hug. Step behind, step behind. You can add a hop or you can step. You're going to get that heart rate up quickly doing plyometric work. Five, four, three, two, low jump rope. Hill, hill, hill. Whew. That's it. Modification, I don't hop. I heel tap. <sighs> you think we were at sea level, we'd be like, yeah. <laughs> just as hard. Yeah, just as hard. Because you can push yourself a little bit harder, a little bit further. Three, two, one. Time. First block done. First block done. Okay. <sighs> Get a drink. You got 30 seconds. 20 more seconds to go. One more time through block number one. <sighs> We're going in 10 seconds. We're going to that step, shot, step, shot, step, shot. In three, two, one, let's go. Step, shot, step, shot. <sighs> That's it, just like you're on the basketball court. <sighs> Good. Keep cranking it. 15 more seconds. Halfway there. We're going to around the world. That box jump, frog style. Five seconds. Four, three, two. Pause on the left side. Hop forward around. Let's go. Forward, right, back, to the left. Forward, to the right, back, left. 15 seconds down. This will crank up the heart rate. Whew. Remember those skaters? They're coming in 10 seconds. It's fast. It's only a 25 minute workout. So work hard in the interval portions. Three, two, one, pause. Step behind, step behind. Whew. Behind, behind. Good. That's it. Find your balance, core strength. Remember those jump ropes? Grab them in 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Jump ropes low. Hill, hill, hill. 
That's it. How are you guys feeling? Good. Good. Good news, next block is strength. So not as high cardio. You go into more strength tone. And then we get to crank it up in block three. <sighs> 10 more seconds. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Lunge, knee drive. We have five seconds. Balance on your right leg. In three, two, one. Step it back and kick it up. Back and kick it up. Back and kick it up. Good. Kick it up. Good. 17 seconds down. 10 more to go. Really isolating that stabilizing leg. Your heart rate will come down just a smidgen as you crank into that strength. Three, two, step together. Right leg steps back. Back and kick. Back. Remember your modification. You could come to a tap for balance. If your knees are bothering you, just do a partial lunge. Oh, is the water going to get you guys? <laughs> Keep your eyes on that water. It'll get you. Good. Three seconds. We're going to caterpillar walk. So feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to walk down to high plank. In three, two, one. Let's go. Walk. High plank. Back up. Here. That's it. Walk. High plank. Back up. Here. Good. Walk. High plank. Back up. You got it. This is kind of a fun one. Do you guys like caterpillar walks? Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of fun. You feel real accomplished when you can do them. If not, go to your knees. Give me one more caterpillar walk. Hold it here. Hold. Hold the high plank. Let's go back so you can see me. High plank. High plank. Just a little bit. See ya. If you can, drive left knee. Drive right knee. You have only 10 seconds of this. Three, two, one. Step together. Ah, shake it out. 30 second break. Awesome. High five after everyone. Nice. Ah, feels good. 20 more seconds. Might not need a, need a drink after the strength, but do walk around. Move during your active rest. 10 more seconds. We're going back to that lunge kick. So my left leg is going back again. In three, two, one, lunge kick. Kick, lunge, and kick, lunge, kick. Good. Keep going. Keep lunge kicking. I'm gonna scoot you in. <laughs> really bad at this. <laughs> Step together after this kick, other side. Step back with your right, lunge, and kick. I just don't want you to be cut off. <laughs> we need some Amy in our workout. Keep going guys, 15 more seconds. Don't mind the sand in your face. Don't make sand. Nothing like some sand. Anything to test your balance would be laughter. <laughs> Five seconds, four, three, two, caterpillar walks. Don't get sand down your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> back up. Roll those shoulders at the top. Take it back down. You can go as quickly or as slowly as you want. I'm going to pick up the pace here. Just a little bit. Make sure that you don't let those hips go into a valley. Don't let them sink. Keep your back flat. Pull in your core. Strengthen in that back. Hold this one down. High plank. Here. Now notice my feet. They're about shoulder width apart. They're not right by each other. That's to make it easier. <laughs> Good. Hold it. Knee drive in three, two, one. Last 10 seconds. Knee to elbow. 
knee to elbow. Check your elbows. Are they slightly bent? Yeah. Did you lock them out? Yeah. We don't want any fainters. Slight bend. I'm dripping. <laughs> Three, two, one. Time. Whew. Harder than high fives. Whew. Harder than high fives. Did I stay in the picture? <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Mm. Get a drink. You're going to need it. Just kidding. <laughs> we only have one more block. You have about 10 more seconds. Last one is agility. So we're going to start with quick feet, fire feet. They're here. If I point a direction, you go that direction. In three, two, one, let's go. Fire feet, fire feet. Roll those shoulders back. Left, right, hold. Left, right. Three, two, step together, knee. Step together, step, knee. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit quicker. If you want, pick up that pace, even a little bit faster. This is full out. I'm digging in that sand. Fire feet. This block is your agility and coordination. So it's your quick twitch muscles. It's your ability to change directions quickly. Great for athletic training. Also just good for keeping up with the kids, right? Right. <laughs> they change directions a lot. <sighs> side to side, five seconds to go. Four, three, two, double jack. I go out, out, in, in. Not jumping, tap and tap. You decide, out, out, in, in. Time started, out, out, in, in. Find what works for you, in, in. In, in. Good. My favorite move coming up, our last one, it's called attack. In 10 seconds, you stick with the jumping jacks. Watch me. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. In three, two, one. Left arm, hit, hit. So you're doing like a jumping jack sideways. Hit, hit. You can step or hop. Anyone else like the attack? punch out any stress. You're thinking too hard, huh? <laughs> Don't take your mind off of this. Five seconds. Four, three, two, time. Done. Done. Yeah. Goes by fast. Nice. You can grab a drink if you want. If not, stick around here. Active movement. So there you're walking around. Keep your chest open. We have one more block. That same block of repetition. So we're doing a repeat on it. 15 seconds. Catching your breath. In 10 seconds, we're going to those fire feet. I point, you move. Three, two, one. Set fire to this rain. And that song. Keep going. Yes. Good. 10 seconds down. Left, right, left. If you can hear, there's volleyball in the background. Right. Hold, hold, 10 more seconds. Beach volleyball, so fun. We've got scuba divers too over here. Five seconds, four, three, two, side movement. Step together, step knee, step knee. Pick up the pace if you can. I may have mixed the order. Did you guys notice? No. Nope. <laughs> okay. If you didn't notice, I'm sure you didn't notice at all. <laughs> Good. We'll go with the flow. Step together. Knee. Another knee. That's it. Good. Double jumping jack in three, two, one. Let's go. Out, out, in, in. Double hop. Squeeze. Pick it up. Out, out, in, in. Water gets you out, out. Woo! <laughs> oh, Amy's playing with fire over there. That's what that is. Attack in three, two, one. Left arm, hit, 
hit right arm. Let's switch. Last move. Really crank it up. I want your heart rate to increase. I want you to feel good. We're gonna have a cool down coming up. So pick it up. Do you guys want a challenge pose? What's that? Where you do one minute of a challenge pose. Sure. Yeah? Sure. It's a burpee with a jump for one minute. You up for the challenge? <laughs> Amy's so face looks changed. <laughs> the jumping quite scares me, but I'll do it. Three, two, right into the challenge pose. Down, back, in, jump. If you don't want to jump, just stand. <laughs> it's one minute. You have 10 seconds down. I like to end with challenge poses. Ooh. Cause that's, you don't leave anything out there. <laughs> oh. Good. Keep going. You look good. You feel good. And you're doing a challenge pose. So pride should be overflowing. <sighs> 20 seconds down. I know it's longer. Remember modification is you walk. You step and you step. Keep moving, just modify. I'm not going to tell you the time because it might hurt a little bit. Oh dear. <laughs> 20 more seconds to go, that's it. 20 more seconds. Woo! Almost there. You're almost there. If you need a quick breather, do. 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, give me one more, one more. take you through a nice cool down. We're just going to march in place. Inhale as your arms swing up. Exhale as your arms come down. You want to take your heart rate down. Stretch and elongate those muscles you just worked. A lot of the plyometric work is actually strength work and your core was working the entire time. Inhale up. Exhale down. I love interval work because you do burn 30% more calories. Who knew that? <laughs> 12 hours after you work out. So it boosts your metabolism a lot quicker than aerobic. So if I were just to go for a run and keep the same pace, it, I would have to run much further and longer to get the same results. One more time, inhale up, exhale down. Good, turn your body to the left, legs are straight. Just bend down, forward bend, reaching for the floor, your toes, wherever your hamstrings allow. As I choke, there we go. I'm going to have you walk those hands out. You're going to come to a downward dog. So feet come here, your hips are high. You're going to bend your left leg and then bend your right leg. So you're alternating which leg you bend. One and then the other. Good. Now if your shoulders have come high here, press them back. You want a high V in those hips. That's going to open up your chest and it's going to stretch those calves and hamstrings in the back of your leg. Now press both heels down, your toes are shoulder width apart. Hold this position.
bend it to a pigeon pose. Oh! <laughs> Don't let the water get you. Bend it here, hips are high. So keep them square. Don't let them turn or open. And then just lay forward on that front leg. Give me a nice stretch in the glute. <laughs> now we're really playing chicken with the water. <laughs> Go ahead and press up. Let's switch legs. So your right leg now comes forward. You're here, kneeling. Let your hips come forward. Make sure your knee stays behind your toe. And then with that further quad stretch, I grab that back leg. You can grab my toe or you can grab your ankle. This is so easy for you. <laughs> the sand makes it nice because your knee wedges in That's there. True. That's balance. true. That's true. So if you're fumbling, just know it's easier for us as I fumble. <laughs> Sit your hips back. Front heel comes to the floor. Pull your toe towards your body. Go ahead and come forward. Pigeon pose. Bend that leg. Come forward. Falling over. Make sure your hips are stacked. They're straight. Ah! Fingers, I'm good. <laughs> I told Amy to tie it is really low in the morning. <laughs> Don't believe me. It's coming close. <laughs> Don't worry, the rest of our stretches and we're just about done. Go ahead and come to a standing position. Shake out those arms, those legs. Bring your hands in front. Oh man, take off that sand. Hands in front, hunch your body just like a cat and cow here in a standing position. Take your hands behind and press that chest forward. So you have a nice arch there. Good, one more time. Bring the hands in front, hunch here. Last one, hands behind, press that chest forward. My favorite is the side reach. Old school aerobics, if your left arm. Oh, oh that one feels like it's coming close. <laughs> <laughs> if nothing else, our, we are entertaining you with, hook you with the, water. <laughs> Go ahead and reach other direction, right arm across, opening up that rib cage. Shake it out. Left arm across your body, press your shoulder down, circle your left wrist and your left ankle. This is your final stretch. We end with two deep breaths to make sure you feel amazing. Other side, right arm comes across, circle your wrist and your right ankle. What are your plans for the day? I hope you comment below. Let me know if you nailed this workout. Say hello to Shannon and Amy. Tell them you want to see them more. <laughs> we are on vacation right now. So that's an opportunity we had to embrace and to take full credit for or make <laughs> the most out of. Let's inhale at the top. Exhale at the bottom. One more time. Inhale at the top. Exhale at the bottom. You are done. High five. Woo! Yay. Done, done. Woohoo! And you guys are done as well. Have a great day. I hope that you do check out some other of some other workouts I have on this channel. They're under the train playlist. So you can check them out, nail them, have an amazing day. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>